What's going on, YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be, and welcome back to Exos Heroes. In today's video, we're jumping back into PvP, but before we do that, let's talk about the free playability of Exos Heroes. So what you see right on your screen right now is my weekly payout of free, air quotes, Zest. And I'm using air quotes because I know um, I do spend money in the game, and based on your performance in PvP, in uh, battle, guild battle, as well as avarice, it will dictate how high you rate, which will obviously impact how many zests you get for free every single week but I still want to kind of show you this to give you guys an idea of what the payouts look like in Exos Heroes and I gotta say I, I played a lot of hero collectors and I don't remember you guys can correct me I don't remember any game in recent memory having such a lucrative payout weekly this is my weekly payout this is nearly five multipools five multipools per week that's just like, it's crazy. And once again, I get it. I spend money. We can almost kind of think of this like as a rebate or something like that. But most games don't even give you that. So I don't know. It's looking pretty good, y'all. So Exos Heroes looks like it's a very free-to-play friendly game. Um, go down in the comment section below this video. Let me know, based on your game performance, how many free zests you got this week. So I can kind of get a feel for what everyone's getting. Um, but for me, I, I got to tell you. I'm pretty satisfied, ladies and gentlemen. I am pretty satisfied. So, jumping back into PvP. Here we go. How loud is that? That might be too loud. Let's crank that down a little bit. Um, we're back playing on my cell phone, the Red Magic 5G. <laughs> um, that way we can actually get some really great performance out of PvP here without all of that annoying slowdown and whatnot. Um, first things first, there is a battery. There is a battery. And Rara, oh my good. Ooh, he messed up though. How'd he mess up, FG? I'll tell you how he messed up. His Rara is so strong that he outpowers the Bathory. So Rara does not have Tranquil, ladies and gentlemen. I repeat, Rara does not have Tranquil. <laughs> so let us, okay. I'll take a little Dumage there. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and stall a turn, hit the Divine Baptism. Man, I am not happy with everyone else using Yulum. Like, I don't appreciate it. Um, I readily actually survived that, um, believe it or not. The, this team right here has little to no, um, what do you call it, uh, Guardian Stones. So you know what? We sacrifice Yulum. This is going to do lots of retaliation damage towards Yulum there. Oh, no, it's not. We got everybody out. That was actually perfect. Um, also, Magi doesn't have it. Ah, I can't get her. Dang it, I can't get them yet. <laughs> Trying to get those Tranquilists. I know one way to get those Tranquilists <laughs> characters in the back there. A little bit of Niflheim action. Down goes team one there. I love me some tag action. Mostly tag two and tag three. Tag one is whatever. But once you get out of tag one and tag, or tag two and tag three, now FG's having some fun. Um, I don't want to attack anyone that has counter at the moment. Um, nice back row. We're going to go ahead and hit everybody in the back row. Just do a little bit of damage there. Just kind of soften them up. Um, who's coming up next? Bernadette is almost here. I was going to see if I could kill her. We might be able to. Lit the heavens ring. Frozen icicles. Okay. Um, from here... I can go ahead. I don't know if any of these people even matter. <laughs> like, I don't know enough about um, Harpy Girl. And who is this? Yarm? Yorm, I think? I don't know all these other different rarity characters just yet. But we'll figure it out. Down goes... Oh, boy. Down goes Baraka. We're going to have Sabrina let loose a little bit of Phoenix action. Down they go. Best two out of three. And we move on, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep it rolling. Okay, um, same setup, same setup. <laughs> what was that voice for FG? I don't know. <laughs> but we're gonna go for the same setup there. Um, the thing is to not get to Bailey. Like that's the that's what we're looking for. Um, all right. Well, right off the bat, there is no Bathory, so that means no Tranquil. So that means we kill Bailey first. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Wait, what? <laughs> no, there's not. 
I'm con I was confused. Oh, and then of course I, <laughs> I sit there and overanalyze everything for like seven hours, literally seven hours worth. <laughs> Freaking a. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We are going to go ahead, kill you. No, we're not. Very strong. Maybe you have machine weakness though. You do not. So we're gonna get a little frozen tear for our transgressions, but that's gonna be fine. Um, from here, Redley's coming up, so I'm gonna counter him with my Redley. Down you go. Let loose the gates of Niflheim, ladies and gentlemen. Big ol' AoE, down they go. Let's see what their team two's about. It seems like this, this guy kind of spread his power out a little bit. Um, we'll see how that works out. Um... Actually, Kea. We probably need to kill Kea as fast as possible, but that was a lucky break, so we'll take it. Maybe she's weak against nature. She is not. We need to take care of Kea as soon as possible. Because um, I believe she resurrects on her three. I can't remember. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and just put Jin to sleep. Chati is so, so underrated. Yes, you can't hit them while, you know, they're, uh, ooh. Fire weakness. Yeah, you can't hit them while you while they're asleep. It just wakes them up. Totally get it. Um, but being able to just kind of say, you know what? I'm going to just deal with you later. <laughs> and not have to worry about them at all. Such a potent ability. Quite thrusty. Magi, go ahead and let them have it. Down you go. We don't need the, we don't need the full brunt of the, the frozen... Oh, I didn't even notice a little hamster gerbil! I didn't even notice him there! Dude, I literally did not say that guy's name the entire fight because I could not see him. I couldn't see him. That sounds like some type of strategy, potentially. <laughs> hide one of the hide a little hamster um, in between some of your bigger units and hope that they don't hope that they're FG and don't realize it. What you doing, FG? Stalin? What you doing? <laughs> Watching the video? <laughs> I am too, technically. All right, um, here we go. Back. Oh, I need to grab it out of my inbox first. I never understood games that do this. Why do games make you accept something and then go to your mailbox to accept it again? Like, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Oh, look at you, look at you. Look at you, look at you. Um, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna just tank the first fight. I'm gonna let you take that win. So just let him beat my Baelish. That's totally fine. Fake Core Zeon, way more equipped for the solo fighting. <laughs> Didn't even have a chance. <laughs> All right, you can have that. All right, but we have to win this one. So let's see what we have here. Two dragon bloods, huh? Freaking hamster. Now I see the hamster this time. Not well hidden this time. Quite tanky. Wrath back at you. And you are weak against um, nature. But I'm not ready to do any AoE action. Just fill out Janai. Just feel her out a little bit. See what she's all about. Wrath her in her face. Wrath back in your face. Down goes the cutest. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is actually a pretty smart setup by him. Because I think he realized a lot of people were just... Uh, hold on. I think we go for it. I think we go for it. Call his bluff. Maybe my magic is super strong compared to him. Yes, bluff been called, ladies and gentlemen. I try to do Frostfang, but I guess it doesn't matter. Um, but he has a pretty smart setup, right? Put Fate Core Zeon as your first team. Most people are going to just try to throw that fight away. And then after that, um, put like your medium team in the middle. Because their, their final team is going to be at the very end. So if you can beat them with your medium team and they throw the way that they throw away the fight with Zeon, you're in a much better position. Um, well, down goes all the dragon blood action. So I think the door is wide open, ladies and gentlemen. Killed my Bathory. Super rude. Okay. <laughs> super, super rude. Um, let's go ahead and silence Garfier. Make sure that he can't do anything too crazy besides stab the... You trying to stab the real Lancey Waifu, yo. Come on. Judgment Day. See you later. 
Um, who's coming up next? Rachel's coming up next. Oh, I forgot about Rachel's ability. I can't remember what it is right now, actually. <laughs> It does something based on people dying or something. I don't know, but I'm not I'm not trying to risk it right now. <laughs> I don't really know a lot about characters that I don't own. And I really do need to get better about that. But that is that. But I do respect this guy's hustle. Fake Horizon, first team. Your second strongest team, second. Your strongest team at the end. That really kind of throws them off. Because most people are just going to throw away this first match, as you guys saw that I did. And if you can somehow beat their second team, you just won. And you never even have to face their strongest team. Pretty sound strategy. Um, so that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's going to be it for Exos Heroes PvP. Don't forget, go down in the comment section below this video. Let me know what your payout was this week for Zest. So I got to get a feeling. And if you want to say you're free to play, well, whatever. You, can, you, you take your own discretion on that one. My name is FG. See you guys in the next video. Later.